thank you for coming back to watch Friday Soaps number three. This is my channel, Caroline's Handmaids, and I'm Caroline. Thank you for coming back again to join me, um, to watch my videos. Thank you for all your comments and likes. Please continue to do that and follow me on Instagram if you'd like at Caroline underscore Handmaids. So Friday Sews is a hashtag created by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room to bring us sewists together and uh, to talk about something we did in the past week, something we're planning for next week, and a little bit, bit about life, excuse me. So this past week, I worked on this dress next to me. It is the Friday Pattern Company Davenport dress. I've always had an eye on this dress and I finally got to make it. I found the perfect fabric for it, so I decided to go for it. I had cut this out actually a while ago, probably two months ago, but I always, uh, something about me, I love, love, love cutting out patterns. I like tracing them out and cutting them. I feel like that's a totally different hobby of mine, but I just, uh, there's a cart right here next to me it's got at least uh, 20 to 25 cut out um, patterns and fabrics so whenever I want to just go for something it's right there I don't have to you know trace out and cut out and start it all from scratch uh, it's right there but anyway speaking about the Davenport dress it is a beautiful dress I did have some struggles with it, but Friday Pattern Company has a sew along for it, which made my life easier. The thing that I had trouble with was the arm side. I lined it up completely wrong. User error, I call it. I lined it up completely wrong. I sewed it up. I even surged it, and then I noticed the mistake. I had to unpick the surging. Luckily, I surged just a little sliver of it so i just unpicked it and unpicking on a on a cotton fabric is easier than unpicking on a knit fabric especially the surging stitches so fix that it worked out and another problem that i had was um, um, this uh, casing for the drawstring at the waist it is um i like that it's an out out word of um, drawstring casing and um, what I did was you know when you turn under to sew the casing down onto the skirt front and back I think I folded up a little too much of the seam allowance so my pin when I was putting the casing the drawstring through the casing was getting stuck and I kept unpicking i was like where is the pocket that i created but anyway i kept unpicking and i was doing it during my lunch break and i was getting even more more and more impatient as the time went on um as it was time went on i was getting closer for my lunch break to get over but anyway that's done i finished the dress and i'm very pleased with it i like that it's nice and fitted even though it has a few gathers kind of around the skirt and the back, the front of the back, it's still fitted. I tried it on and it's really, it fits well. So I've always gone for uh, um, a little, um, I just like having looser clothes on my body. I feel comfortable. I am not self-conscious. Uh, it's just something I prefer. But the last week, I'm gonna put a, put a picture up here. Uh, last week I had finished the Itch to Stitch Tustin dress. It was very fitted. But a little ease, with a little ease. I For the first time I made a fitted dress actually, I wore it to work and I got a lot of compliments from everyone. 
and uh, it was quite fitted and when I looked at the pictures I posted on Instagram I thought I it looked good I thought fitted clothes that dress especially looked good on me so I was pleased with myself uh, with actually stepping out of my comfort zone and making a fitted dress um, funny story uh, I was uh, my girlfriend my colleague my friend was taking pictures she always takes pictures of me at work uh, when I make something new and she's always so proud of me and always encouraging me but every time she takes a picture in our hallways at work people are always walking around and <laughs> she stops people and she'll say look Caroline made this dress uh, and she calls attention everyone just stands and like oh my gosh you made the, your dress and then I have some, this, this, um, some people follow me back to my office and someone said to me, oh, can you teach my daughters how to sew? And uh, another lady said, can you come to my home and teach me how to sew? And I just thought to myself, I said, I'm happy to show anyone how to sew, but I don't think I have that much time uh, in my life at the moment. So, um, I just said that I learned how to sew by just going to join fabrics, picking up an easy pattern, following the instructions and, um, you know, and watching YouTube videos. I think I'm going to make a package, like a little starter package for um, the lady who asked me to teach her how to sew. She has a sewing machine, does not, she said she's never used it, doesn't know how to use it. Uh, so I'll put a little pattern in there, a fabric, and some notions to go with that. And I think I'll give that to her and see how she'll fit. Really easy, like a just a A-line dress. That's it. Nothing else. So let's see how that goes. But anyway, um, my plans for the week is to sew up some cashmere patterns. So Cashmere reached out to me to be one of their collaborators for their Cashmere Club. I'm already a club member and I'm a basic club member and I get a pattern a month. I am a big fan of Cashmere so I was really happy and surprised when they reached out to me to be their co collaborator. I do have some homework to do. I do have to make up a dress, uh, make up their pattern and share with them with you know and if they like it then i get as a gift of yours mem if they like it i get a gift of um premium club membership for a year and obviously every month i'm gonna have to sew up their patterns and i will post videos once i am allowed to release uh the you know release the video and share what i've made i'm excited about that i'm really excited about being a collaborator for cashmere patterns um a little bit so i'm going to be making that pattern for the week maybe a couple of weeks it's due at the end of the month and I'm also i really 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 badly need trousers for work um so i am going to make the cashmere Merriam trouser and uh, it's right here I cut it up and I think I showed it in my first video so I think this is also one thing that I might work on this week along with um, the Sinclair patterns uh, Chloe top I'm gonna come a little closer here uh, I have this one cut out already and for the cashmere club pattern that I can't talk about right now I have chosen fabrics I've chosen this floral fabric. It's a chiffon -y kind of, um, I don't know. I'm really not good at fabric names, but it's a, now that I'm looking at it, it's quite trans see-through. So I don't know what I'm, if I'm going to actually use it, but I picked this up. I had another satin, another silky fabric in mind for my project for Cashmere. And then I picked up, this would really do well. It's um, 
cotton lawn I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics. Um, that's what my plans are for the week. A little bit about life. I started going to work this um, week after three long years and I just realized how much time I spent on the commute for the it's been it was 22 years that I was commuting Monday through Friday to Washington DC it took I, said, I can't believe I did this for so many years and now it's I'm on my 26th year and so it, it took me an hour and a half to go from Maryland to DC oh and then it took me an hour and a half to come back home and I was thinking what a waste of time but the good part of going to work to the office was meeting my my colleagues I love my job I love everything about my job I love the people the work it's just a great work environment and I just I enjoy that part not the commute but I enjoy my job so it was nice to get away from home and um, just be with my colleagues and we had a lot of catching up to do so a lot of coffees and catch-ups and lunches and breaks great we ha I had a great time uh, so that was about life and um, I was trying to think uh, so during uh, this week, I, I started, the past two weeks, I've started something new while I sew. I usually watch um, YouTube videos or I listen to my Christian music while I sew. I love murder mysteries, so I usually watch, and I'm an very old fashioned, not old fashioned, I like old um, mystery shows, so I watch Columbo or Murder, She Wrote, uh, I watch uh, also old shows like the Andy Griffith or I Love Lucy, I like the Jeffersons, all these old shows, but I discovered something also to relax me. My daughter bought me a, a candle, a really nice scented candle from Target. I loved it and I just now, this is my new thing, as soon as I come down to my sewing room, I start the scented candles and start the smell and the ambiance. It's just great. Um, so that's a little bit about life. I want to thank you all for joining me. I've also been um, reading. I want to share with you that I've been reading. I read a devotional in my Bible when I wake up in the morning, uh, a devotional book and a Bible, and then I printed out something. I found this. It was talking today's devotional, which I thought I'd share with you. It's about repentance and confession. I love this verse, verse in the Bible. It's found in James 5.16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that he may be healed. It's found in James 5.16. The devotional goes on to say, about how it says confess your sins to God who only can forgive them and your faults to one another if you have given offense to your friend or neighbor you are to acknowledge your wrong and it is his duty to freely forgive you then you are to seek the forgiveness of God because the brother you have wounded is the property of God and injuring him you have sinned against his creator it is so important to, I feel, to be mindful of others and to be mindful if we have wronged someone or been unkind to someone because I, that the, what stuck with me is that we are actually, so we have sinned against God when we, we um, mistreat someone or have wounded somebody. We're actually sinning against that person's creator. Um, Thank you all for joining me today. I'm looking forward to making a video. Uh, thinking of making a a, a video uh, sometime in the middle of the week, hopefully, about my five uh, top five to six uh, favorite dresses. 
I love making dresses. So I'm going to share my five, six, five to six um, favorite indie pattern dresses because I think I only like indie patterns fit me better. And then the, um, among the big four, it's simplicity, but I'm going to share my top five or six indie pattern dresses. But thank you for joining me today. And sorry for the lighting here. It's a little dark today. Actually, I've made this video four times because cats have been jumping around and things have been happening. And now it's nighttime, so it's a little dark here. Thank you, and I hope to hope you'll join me next week. Please follow me on Instagram at carolines underscore handmade. Or um, subscribe to this channel if you'd like, and please like and comment. Thank you all for joining me today. God bless you all. Bye-bye.